Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shevisu. Today, I am coming to you with probably the strangest tool I have ever had the opportunity of testing. It's uh, basically a socket wrench. It's a little ratchet guy. Only the difference is instead of giving you a whole bunch of different sockets, they give you one. Why is that? Well, take a close look. If you look inside there, it almost looks like a whole bunch of little pins that are stuck in there. So, theoretically, if you were to get any size and pretty much stick it in there, it will fit, theoretically. Work it in there, and there you go. That's a pretty big uh, bolt right there. It does work up to 19 mil, which I have tested and all the way down to the tiniest one that I have, which is about a quarter of an inch, and it fits right in there as well. It's so strange. So I'm in front of my car right here just to demonstrate that it will not work on car lug nuts. So if you're getting this for your car, or at least to change the tires, don't even bother. However, if you're using this to like change oil, this would be absolutely perfect. On a whim, I also pulled out a nut right here, and that fit quite nicely in there as well. You see how it kind of kind of squishes in there. Isn't that crazy cool technology? Wild. Now one of my big concerns was, well, these are just little pins and surely these are just gonna strip out when I get something and I really start reefing on it. But the concept goes is that if you look closely, um, when you put something in there and turn it, uh, the little pins are actually um, it's being supported by the pin next to it. So it's almost like a sphere supporting a sphere all the way around. So really, uh, the integrity of this thing is based off of um, basically how long the pins are, which if I were to put this all the way in there, it's about, I would say the pins go down about uh, a half an inch into there. So if the pins were really long, I could see the pins being compromised and kind of twisted when you really started reefing on something, but the pins only go down about a quarter of an inch, so it's not very far down at all. Um, so with that, I do trust that it will actually last me many, many, many years. And on a whim, I also got a tiny little guy, you know, that, that you, you know, twist wires together and stuff like that. Obviously, you wouldn't use something like this for this, but I just wanted to grip, uh, test the grippability of this and it kind of grips it, kind of remarkable. Obviously, you not use this for this, but just testing the grip again. See, uh, because of course there's not much on that. Isn't that amazing? Last little thing is it comes with this little guy right here. This is an adapter that allows you to pop this in to here, so it's not gonna go anywhere, and then this goes on your drill. And voila, you just, turned your drill into a socket wrench and you can go crazy with this so you don't necessarily have to use this included if you have a drill and uh, and this is just your basic little quarter inch uh, that fits uh, pretty much anything um, yeah like for example this little Phillips head screw right there see a little Allen head right there and it fits and it also fits this as well. Remarkable, so highly, highly recommended. Very, very innovative. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, but so far in all my tests, it has been working. I was really honestly quite skeptical about this Reflex Grip Universal Socket. Uh, the packaging itself is, is pretty cheap. You can tell that it's made from in China somewhere. But hey, I'm not gonna smack it if it actually works. So five out of five stars. My name is Bo Shevisu and I look forward to testing and reviewing more fun, fantastic things here on Amazon.com.